we are back in Whiterun. We gotta go speak to that priestess. And I, I know that um, it, it may not happen, but I want to work towards collecting all the stones of Baron Zaya also. Um, I, again, like, I don't, I don't see how, how well that's going to go through because we have to go to specific places to get a lot of them. But I know for a fact that there is three in Whiterun on its own, and we can get them right now if we wanted to. So we're going into the Hall of the Dead here. We do have a quest here, too, if, if we decide to stick around. Let's use a, use a Blessing of RK really quick. But we have the catacombs in... Oh, that's right. They're infested with skeletons. Free quest. Well, that was easy. Had a soul gem on him. Take that, skeleton. Fear my fists of cat. <laughs> my feline fists of fury. There's the unusual gem. We got, we got another skeleton back here. Yeah, we do. We don't need you. Yeah, think about the, the Hall of the Dead and, and all the towns, too, uh, which was interesting, is uh, there's burials. If people die, like, their burials happen in here. Like, you can come and visit their, their graves uh, after, after the fact, which is very, very cool. Is there any more skeletons in here? Nope, nope, just more... Just more, okay. We're good. We're good. Let me see if I can talk to the priest really quick. He might have he might have uh, given us the quest. Oh, priest of RK guy. Are you here? Are you here? Oh, you're sleeping. Okay, wake up. Tell me, do you believe in mighty RK, god of life and death? Uh, I know the god of death very well. My, my fists channel him. I'm glad to know that because I need your help. You see, I've lost something precious. My amulet of RK. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Sure thing, Anders. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. All right, so we got to go back in there and grab the amulet of RK that he lost. I believe I know where it is though. It's I think it's down here. Right? Uh, no, no. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to actually look. Find Anders' amulet of RK. There it is. I I knew it was somewhere in this room. <laughs> there it is. Anders, I did it. The dead has been have been defeated. No, get back up. I found your amulet, buddy. Oh, thank RK. Please, take this gold for your troubles. Hey, he gave us a good amount of gold. In the the 15. 15 gold. <laughs> it's not that much. Awesome. Got a little, little bit of gold for our trouble. And and a unusual gem. Alright, here we go. Hello. Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? Here is your sap. Wonderful. I'll use it to repair the tree. Thank you so much for all your help. And that's it. That's all that happened. Hey, can you help me raise my restoration? So I think we're just going to maximize training and restoration. Keep up with the rest of our levels here. And it, it wasn't very costly anyway, so... All right. Might get a level out of this session. Who knows? Now for the companions... Who we must speak to as well. Oh, companions. Who do we need to talk to? Codlack, right? Where's our buddy Codlack? Oh, did you just say to go through your basker? That's nice. Okay. Let's go down to Codlack's room really quick and see if we can get the uh, unusual gem down there too. Because if he is indeed outside, then we can just sneak right in here. And take it. Yes, we can. All right. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Farkas, you're not going to say anything, are you? You better not. You better not. <laughs> you didn't see a darn thing. All right. Ooh. Ooh. There's some good reagents in here. And some gold. And some death bell. I shouldn't... I shouldn't be taking all this stuff because now I'm over encumbered. Let's dump, drop some junk. 
All right, just a couple things worth dropping. We have to, uh, we gotta sell some things and probably go back to Anissa's cab cabin and get rid of these uh, reagents that are probably weighing us down pretty much too. Oh yeah, and then I and then we ended up getting a really cool shield, this uh, steel shield of blocking, which replaced our uh, our iron shield of magic resistance, and we also had a magic resistance amulet that we we equipped, which is very nice. Okay, hello, we did it. Brothers and sisters of the circle, today we welcome a new soul into our mortal fold. This man has endured, has challenged, and has shown his valor. Who will speak for him? I stand witness to the courage of the soul before us. Would you raise your shield in his defense? I would stand at his back, that the world might never overtake us. And would you raise your sword? his honor it stands ready to meet the blood of his foes then the judgment of this circle is complete yay well boy you're one of us now i trust you won't disappoint cool and speak to yorland if you want a better weapon than whatever that is are you are you knocking my fists how about i knock you around Codlac? I know I'm going to be a loose cannon character. <laughs> okay. So we have the Alakir to take care of, care of but uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. We need to we need to go to Anissa's cabin really quick. Let's do that. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got to disenchant a few things that we uh, acquired through quests and whatnots. And there's our level that we were looking for. So we're doing pretty well on health, it appears. Let's go for some more stamina. Alright, so we're going to raise our enchanting by one once again. We want to get those those uh, punchy enchantments as, as uh, potent as we possibly can. Um, I don't see anything else that we should be raising yet, though. Uh, we don't have, have one-handed at 30 yet. We don't have block at 30 yet. Uh, our heavy armor needs to be at uh, 40 or higher to upgrade anything there. So, let's uh, enchant some stuff, or try to. Went ahead and made a couple gold rings, or enchanted a couple gold rings with Fortify Smithing. Um, and yes, we are, we are still in Anissa's cabin, uh, willing to store some extra things. Um, we need to sell some stuff too, though. But we're going to rest a little bit. Ah, the daylight hours. Oof. That's when Skyrim looks its most glorious. Oh yeah, yes indeed. So we're gonna head back to Whiterun and speak to the Alakir prisoner and also sell a few things. So we're gonna we're gonna fast travel there. Man, that view. Here we are in Dragon's Reach. We need to get into the prison, which is around back, I believe. Need some blue mountain and, and purple mountain flowers. Yes. <laughs> Can't, can't collect enough flowers. All right. Into the prison we go. Sorry, the dungeon. There's, there's different names for things. Can I speak to you? I must find Kimatu. Where is he hiding? You have a death wish then? If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. Let me guess. Bust you out, right? I have dishonored my brothers by being captured, and so they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now, but I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Mm -hmm. All right, so we gotta pay the guards off in some way, shape, or form. Be glad you're here in the city and not out in Riverwood. Those poor sods don't even have a wall. I would like to pay his fine, please. Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. Oh, I can do that. He doesn't want to be here anyway. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. But that's your problem, not mine. God, my fine's <laughs> been paid. Now set me free. <laughs> All right. Ooh, what's in the, oh, oh, belongings chests. Sorry, my ear. Okay, so we must find Kamatu, 
before we do that, we can actually go into Dragon's Reach really quick and get the third Stone of Berenziah that is in the area here. Um, and then we'll have, what, like four? Four total? Something like that. Then we can see if we can sell stuff to the court wizard while we're here. Wouldn't that I'm be sweet? I have something for you. Here. Oh. So I found something. Thanks. Here, Thanks, Lydia. We're friends, apparently. Like hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Oh, it turns out that you know, Ferengar had you should join the mages a greater soul gem. We're going to use that right now. All right. So we uh, raised our enchanting quite a bit more. Um, not, not any levels, though. Uh, any, well, actual levels, but we crafted a Punch Ring 2.0, so we're going to equip that really quick. All right, increasing unarmed strike damage to four instead of two, and we're going to sell the additional jewelry that we uh, enchanted to Farangar to get our money back. All right, thank you, Farangar. Now we need to go get that unusual gem, and then we can uh, head out. Take care of the Alakir. Hmm. Another wanderer here to look my What? Why do you keep following me? This is weird. Stop it. The gem's up here. <laughs> and here it is. Thank you very much. Now we have a whole bunch of unusual gems. Not 24, though. Not just yet. Can we go out this way? Nope. Okay. The Great Porch is actually the shorter route to fast travel mode. So we're going to do that now. Here we are. We have fast travel to Redoran's Retreat. Oh my goodness, there's a dragon. We're going to have to take care of this dragon. Is the hoping we don't get wrecked. <laughs> Hello, dragon. Oh boy. We're going to be friends, aren't we? We're going to be buddies. You miss me. Oh, this is a frost dragon. Good thing we bashed it. Ha ha ha. Take that, dragon. So we, we just used a, a fire resistance potion. It is not going to be effective against this dragon. But uh going to use a little bit of a little bit of heal in there, okay? And now we now we bash the crap out of him again. Block when necessary. Ooh, yeah. There's our level. There's our level. <laughs> now you're grounded, aren't you? No. No frost breath. Not allowed. Oh. We got a mammoth's assistance. Two mammoths. Are the mammoths going to kill him? <laughs> yep. That they did. Thank you, mammoths. You are awfully nice. Got a giant just hanging out over there. Be like, hey, you guys come back. <laughs> All right. Well, we got another dragon soul out of the deal. And a sanctified orcish sword. Very nice. Think we can carry all of this? Barely. Nope, nope. We are over encumbered. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Okay, well we can we can sell the dragon goods later. But uh, let's um let's let's uh let's call it good for now. I think that's that's a full episode. So uh, make sure yeah. Uh, Yorkshire Yank, the ball is in your court, my friend. Enjoy. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this amazing co-play between Yorkshire Yank and myself. Remember we are taking turns releasing two episodes at a time, and you will see them appear on either my channel or his channel on Thursdays and Sundays. To keep tabs on the whole series, make sure you subscribe to both of us. Check the description below for a convenient playlist of all of the episodes that have been out so far, as well as respective links, and I hope to see you in our next adventure.